Does the commissioner want to dump firefighters who love Trump? The FDNY is reportedly coming after firefighters who booed Attorney General Letitia James in this video from a promotion ceremony last week. Roll it. I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Attorney General Letitia James. Come on, we're in a house of God. <laughs> I want to thank Commissioner Kavanaugh and Chief Hodgins for that recognition. Ugh, what a dumpster fire. Where's Jamal Bowman when you need him, huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> the New York Post obtained an internal memo scolding the hecklers, telling firefighters they should, quote, Understand that the Bureau of Investigations and Trials is gathering video and identifying members that brought discredit to the department. We want the members to come forward. They will come to HQ to be educated oh. on why their behavior is unacceptable. Mm. Yeah, so they're going after people who can't stand Letitia James. Seriously, who has that kind of time? <laughs> <laughs> And how did they bring discredit to the department? If you ask me, those firefighters just promoted themselves to a higher level of awesome. Yeah. 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 But no need to worry. It's just the Bureau of Investigation and Trials wanted to re-educate them. That sounds totally fair. I wouldn't worry. Who's leading the charge against the Trump-loving firemen? This woman, Commissioner Laura Kavanaugh, who, by the way, has never served as a firefighter and worked for Bill de Blasio in Barack Obama's 2012 re-election campaign. In other words, she leans farther to the left than a car driven by Tyrus. <laughs> <laughs> But she's not the only one targeting Trumpers. If you remember the surveillance of voters' bank records by the feds, which reportedly used terms like MAGA and Trump to target Trump supporters. Although there's an easy, easier way to identify conservatives, just ask the banks who actually pay back their student loans. So in short, if you're a Republican, watch your back, because you got a target on it. And if you're a Democrat and your house is on fire, feel free to ask for only Democrat firemen as you watch your house burn down. Molly, uh, the FDNY says the investigation isn't about politics. Then why the hell did they have the state AG come to like a city thing who's clearly a political figure? Yeah, I love how they say it's not about politics and they're not hunting anyone down when their memo themselves said, turn yourself in so we don't have to hunt you down. <laughs> yeah. But the, the thing, I actually liked hearing these boos. I don't normally like hearing people boo in a public setting. You want people to be able to speak without interruption. But... Letitia James is actually a really bad person. She mm -hmm. ran for office saying that she was going to find a crime to, to go after her political opponent of Trump. The crime she found, that he paid, repaid a loan with interest where everybody was happy, I mean, that's like really tyrannical stuff. Mm -hmm. Booing is the nicest thing that should happen mm -hmm. to Letitia James. Far, far, far worse things should be happening. But this is a start. Yes. Uh... <laughs> Jim, when people boo you, they're just saying your name. Yes, they are. Hey, boo. Yeah. <laughs> but they're doing it in bed, so. Um, How would, uh, did she handle this correctly? And what do you make of this uh, witch hunt, so Greg, to speak? I thought this might be a lot of bunk. Pardon my French, ladies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, this, uh, I, did, I thought she handled it well. There is something they didn't show where she goes, all right, get it out, you know, get it out of your systems. Um, and the reason she was there mm -hmm. was because I think one of the, w the women who was being promoted to chaplain, the first uh, black female chaplain, right. requested her to be there because I think they're friends. Yeah. So I think that they were saying that she, even, even though I don't like her either, but they said she was there in a non-political, mm -hmm. she was more there as a guest and as a, a person uh, requested by the person being honored. Mm -hmm. And they said, you don't, don't do it on this time. That was kind of the, yeah. the, the push of it. Although that banking thing bothered me yeah. when they were looking at people's for political because now my bank knows that I vote for only fans <laughs> <laughs> uh, producers remember to edit out all that stuff Jim said in favor of Letitia James I'm joking just let her know I said it <laughs> <laughs> Kat what are your thoughts here they're uh, now they're backing off they're saying we're not hunting it's not a political thing what do you say yeah I just feel like being booed is never any reason to get the fire department involved. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, 
why isn't Letitia James saying something? If I were her, I'd be embarrassed. Yeah. If I were her, I'd be embarrassed that apparently the fire department of New York thought that I couldn't handle some people booing me so much that they needed to get involved at this level. Mm -hmm. And also, to all the firefighters, I'm sure you're smart enough to know this, but don't turn yourself in. No, <laughs> don't. And don't, don't Never, snitch. ever turn yourself in. Don't snitch either. Mm -mm. Yeah, don't snitch on your friends. Ew, ew, ew. Yeah, Never do that. Yeah, that's the worst. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Did they have family and friends at this thing? I'm imagining a lot of that booing was sort of people it associated very, with yeah. firefighters, and they, and they should want to protect those people. They should turn in their family members. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what they're trying to get them yeah. to do, right? Yeah, imagine if this were an expression in support of BLM. Do you think this would have had the same response? No, of course not. Of course not. But, uh, you know, the hunting is underway. I know you've been radical. Last time I was here, you told me that Scott Adams radicalized you. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that Scott's been predicting is hunting of conservatives. And this is a manifestation of that. It's interesting. Now, the fire department was sort of the core blue Democratic people yeah. in the party, and now they've gone completely the other way, and I think they're going to push back on all this. But That's it also shouldn't just be firefighters who are defending rule of law in our country. Mm -hmm. Everybody who cares about the country, who cares about due process, who cares about not trying to put your political opponent in prison or bankrupt his family, that should be all of us, by the way. Everyone should be booing Letitia James, and again, far more. Yeah, you know, uh, Keep thinking, what are they going to do to the firemen if they come forward? You know, are they going to take a DEI hey, course? What are they going to do? You Bad! Know? <laughs> are they going yeah. to teach them that fire should be more equitable? Re-education camps. Yeah, re yeah, exactly. Here we go. It is crazy, though. Not, like, she's not smart enough to come out and go, hey, look. Yeah. It's not no polite, but they, uh, they have the exactly. right to express themselves. Like, you'd yeah. win people over exactly. yeah. with dumb Biden if he had said what you said about just yeah. tell him, hey, you know, yeah. I said what I said and that's it. If people showed a little bit of balls in public life and defended people, a lot of times you'd be surprised. It's it it softens people on yeah. you. They'd be like, hey, this person at least exactly. defends yeah. my right to boo them. Exactly. It, it is time for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Your applause is a hint that we should move on. <laughs> Up next, De Niro proves he's just another chump who's afraid of Donald Trump. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.